All right, well, for our YouTube audience, if you're just tuning in, this is uh, game one of the uh, Glorious Few Sanctimonious Invitational. Uh, I'm here with Seven Hog, uh, my teammate Kevin. How's it going, Kevin? It's going, man. I'm excited to see these amazing Keyforge matches that we're going to catch today. That's right. We've got uh, Justice Blinded against GJ999, also known as George Jones from the Manchester Mavericks. And uh, we're going to get started here. Uh, I'm going to let those guys know we can uh, we can get going. Uh, so each round, there's like a different content creator following and recording their game, uh, live streaming their game. So um, uh, so we're in charge of, of starting it so they know they're good to, good to get going. Um, so I, we are on a three minute delay, just so you guys know, um, if you're tuning in or if you're trying to watch the game in Kip and here, it's not going to make a lot of sense. Um, that's just to protect the, um, uh, basically protect the integrity of, of the stream. So there's no temptation to, to sneak a peek at the opponent's hand or anything. I don't think anybody in this tournament would honestly, but it's just a way to, to be above reproach and, uh, and, uh, Yeah. So, so we're going to jump right in. Um, I do, I'm not sure if we're supposed to start time or uh, give two minutes for. Looks like we're getting rolling here. David. We're rolling. Hey, hey, we're going. There's, I think they've looked at it, at their deck list enough. So here we go. All right. So let's look at George's deck. He's got Sleepy Eye Patch Alice, which is hilarious. Uh, looks like Super a uh, Worlds Collide logo, sorry, and Untamed, and uh, with uh, Double Hapsis, uh, Wild Wormhole, which we love to see around here. Oh, Everybody. always. That's that's, that's <laughs> GG right there. Uh, he's got uh, sorry and Double uh, Shrix with the Golden Spiral. What else do we see? Skewdom to protect. Um, and uh, Untamed got double unnatural selection. Keep the board down. I see a Ghost Hawk, the Pimpaka Twins, and uh, and there we go. So we're we're into play already. We'll we'll pause for a minute. Looks like uh, looks like, gosh. Uh, all right. So ju so Justice went first uh, with Steeler of Souls, and uh, then George went out with the Mustic Mermic and Mab the Mad. Um, you can follow along on the side as well. Um, any, before we get going, oh, looks like we got a hysteria to return everybody. Uh, do you see anything in George's deck that, that you're looking out for? Uh, George has got some key stuff going on, but I, I like to see the package wins. Um, it's just a very cool thing in my heart. I don't know why, but they just, you put one on bookend on each end and they just, I don't know, they, I feel like they do a lot of work. Like you were saying, the wormhole is always a good touch. Yeah. Double hapsis is interesting to me. Um, I don't know why, but something about that scares me. The the drawability of hapsis once he gets warded, if he can get him get him out there and get him rolling, logos could kind of carry him. For All right. Support, portion of the game. Real quick, quick update. So we had a hysteria into the control of the week, forcing uh, George to go back to uh, untamed. Um, real quick. So that's a good, nice little stall tactic by uh, to, by Justice Blinded early. He did help from future self and time traveler double anomaly exploiter. I think our, I think this is the deck I played against, <laughs> uh, <laughs> which George responded with his own logos uh, hitting in tropic swirl, which I love. Uh, get does two damage for each trait and uh, you gain one, so you can do four damage and and get two amber. Some even get six damage and three amber. It's pretty nasty, but. Um, so back to Justice Blinded. We've each got we got four and five amber already. Let's let's take a look at uh, Justice Blinded's deck real quick. Um, this does look like the deck that I played against. Oh, maybe not. This looks like a coded deck. This is this is a, this is a coded deck. It's got your double control of the week, which is just could, could get real nasty. We already saw the hysteria play that, like you were saying earlier, he. Uh, it allowed him to slow down the game a little bit, get himself a little bit of amber control early on. Oh, and we've got a check, it looks like, coming in right now on the Justice Blind side, too. Lots of board uh, control. He had Pawn Sacrifice and Poison Wave, and, uh, man, just wipe, just board wiping let's, right now. Let's say there's some, some swings going on here. This is this is some fun Keyforge. 
All right, so that with the poison wave to you, Mage. All right, so first key has been forged for the glorious view uh, coverage here. Just realized I'm not full screen. I'll I'll make this look a little prettier. Um, but we uh, so justice blinded. Eric has uh, forged his first key, and George is sitting at four amber. Uh, he's got a handful of logos uh, that he can uh, he can drop out there. Yeah, looking at this, there is a ton of of board control between the double pawn sacrifice, double poison wave, double anomaly exploiter, bouncing death quark, uh, hysteria, fear. I mean, this is a uh, this is this is uh, this is nasty. He's not gonna let you sit on the board. Looking at the decks of Keyforge on that as well, and he's he's got reps with this for sure. It's not a deck that he's taking casually. It's got over two hundred reps online, so he knows exactly what he needs to do and when he needs to do it. Two hundred reps. I get I get too bored. I can't play that many reps with a deck. <laughs> uh oh. Looks like George disconnected. We'll see if we uh, see if we get a uh, if he can reconnect. Hopefully this doesn't stop. Not oh. good. Uh oh, I hope this doesn't stop the the match because it's going really well so far. I think that there's still some forge moves to be made. Again, it's still early in the key forge. All right, a little little uh, little halftime action here. Um, <laughs> news. Do we have some halftime uh, entertainment? Any 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 professional uh, musicians uh, artists gonna perform today? No, uh, we we tried to get J Lo, uh, but she's kind of busy with this all in challenge thing going on. What the heck? That's um, so just... so dumb. <laughs> I know, right? Stories. <laughs> uh. <laughs> oh gosh. So, David, look, looking at this right now, since we can obviously see the hands of both players, what's your go-to if you were George? What would be your strategy from this point forward? Because obviously, Eric's got a little bit of an advantage. Obviously, he's got his first key. He's got four Amber at this point, too. So he's pushing to get key number two. Yep. How are you going? Are you going to recover? Like, how are you going to try to bounce back? He. Let's see. He's got. Uh, he's got some. Uh, a handful of Saurians right now. Um, he's got a Phalanx Strike, Center Strix, City Gates. Um, City Gates, it gives him some amber control, but with the amount of, uh, of board control here, um, I wonder how effective this is going to be. Um, he's got the Skewdom, though. And he's got Brooded on auxiliary, auxiliary, so he can protect his Shrix a little bit um, and try to burst forward. But again, he's he's got a lot of ways to uh, to deal with it. So um, now he could go. Um, all right, so George is back. Uh, he could go back to to logos here and wormhole. Obviously, house rules in the wild wormhole. If you play wild wormhole, you automatically win. So if I were George, I would just play the wormhole and and say GG. That's that's where I was leaning, but I'm glad we got some real good analysis there. <laughs> if I had seen it, if I had seen it sooner, I, I obviously would have uh, <laughs> would have hit there. <laughs> uh, the, I think the phallic strike uh, um, is going to be the way that he needs to go right now. He needs to clear the board, like you said. Yeah, he obviously went so, sorry in here, uh, and then the brute, like you said, he's it's going to give him a little bit of control. I probably would have played him first, the brute on. So that way he's covered with the uh, covered covered with the taunt and the hazardous, covering both of his creatures. But that's just my I, tip. yeah. I I find myself with taunt guys. I find myself putting them on the on the flank a lot when like with Hapsis. Like I don't think I care that much if he dies, but he's got some other guys in here like his second Shrix, like Restring Guntis. Or sorry, no, that's the other that's the other deck. Um, like the Panpacas, um, that he might just want to protect a little bit more. Uh, so I, I, I can kind of see where he's coming from. So looks like he did get two check. Um, but, uh, but Eric pulled him off. So, uh, going with the, the logos play with Dexter, Titan mechanic and bat drone. I 
I don't or did know I miss that? Too. Oh no, sorry. He did. Sorry, man. They're they're playing so fast. It's uh, it's a little hard to keep track of. He did. Uh, I'm gonna pull this uh, chat cue down so I can catch more of the play before it disappears. Um, actually, that might be affecting the. That might block something on the stream. Oh well. Uh so, oh, George played the wild wormhole. GG, everybody. George uh, wins chat. wins the glorious feud. It's been a great great tournament. Appreciate you turning in. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm thinking we need to we need to make this an implemented KIP rule. We need to have like some kind of override button that pops up a wormhole or something when uh when a wild mark is played. Um, also, I don't know if you've recognized, but they did have they have already implemented that uh, the power counters. Yes, I was literally just yeah, acknowledging that, cool. that where the where the uh, power looks a little different because he played the fittest. Uh, you see that it automatically updates with its new power, which is so helpful. Kevin, how many Keyforge games have I lost because I did bad math? Uh, I've been notified of at least a few. Yes, um, I can't obviously keep track all around, but yeah, it's pr- pretty much uh, it's pretty much every fun. game I've ever lost is because of uh, because of that. So, <laughs> all right. So right now we've got we've got keys forging right now. Uh, key, we got a key on each side. Justice Blind here is he's pulled up to eight amber. Um, looks like he's about to try to uh, get some boards. He yeah, he got rid of Shrix. Man, hey, this is tell, real. Tell you what, even well the uh, Brutadon has the hazardous too. Um, otherwise, the Bat Drone combined with Anomaly Exploiter is really nice because you can fight with Skirmish, steal one, and then kill him with the Anomaly Exploiter, uh, which is pretty pretty sick. All right, so and check. classic library access turn. All right, George. What's he got? Okay, so he's got the city gates. If he's got, he doesn't have, he has one dinosaur, so he could do that and pull two off uh, using city gates. But it looks like he's taking his untamed turn here. So there's the uh, first Pampaka twin, but honestly, right now, he he's so far behind. Not not too far behind. He, there's there's answers here, um, but um, right now his hand is not ideal for slowing uh, Justice Blinded down. This this could this could get really could be over really soon. So we got a ghostly hand over here with Eric. That's just a uh, that's just a free two amber, uh, but he doesn't have any other really sh- real shadow. But he shadows yeah. plays. He he. Oh. But he yeah. He also has the uh, uh, charrette and shaffles. I, right now, pandemonium would hurt him more, but he could just basically take all of George's amber at this time and and slow him down even even worse. But if he, if he did drop the pandemonium, he'd also be losing amber on these guys. But with how much board control he has, I'm sure he's. He's okay with that for the most part. Um, I'm going through and I'm realizing I, I don't follow all these Twitch streams um, that are covering um, covering this event. So I'm going through making sure I follow all of the – make sure I follow all of these things because – Support the community, man. Heck, yeah. All right, follow, follow, follow. My my Keyforge uh, Twitch list just uh, expanded tremendously. I'm very excited about this. So so many people are going live right now. This is great. Yeah, George, George has some big uh, big decisions here. He's got to make. Um, What uh well, I, I do kind of want to see this uh sleepy sleepy eye patch. I kind of want to see it, some of its uh SAS scores just to see where it, where it lands compared to to Eric's. Okay, so here comes the restaurant Guntis. Uh and it looks like I'm, what he he's going to call um I, I makes, I'll say that makes sense to me. 
Yep. For the, to pull Sorin, because if he, if... Yep. Oh, and that's going to hurt. Back, he's going to need Sorin. Oh, that, that, that might, that might... Well, I mean, he can kill the Russian Guntus, but honestly, at this point, right now, he, uh... He's got a handful of Sarians that he can't play right now. And then Eric also come back to the this turn. He just drew into a control of the week. So he could do that and then literally hit it again. Oh, yeah. If needed. Um, hysteria is going to hurt him more than it's going to help at this point. But All right, so so George is back to, uh, back to Logos. Gets Quant down, gets Jargoggle down. Jargoggle gets a card under him. I missed what card he put there, but... Um, hey, it's a it? Phalanx Strike. And then he Code Monkeys uh, to get some Amber. All right, so George is up to three Amber, one key. Uh, Eric, just Justice Blinded, has two Amber with two keys. We'll see where he goes. Let's see. He's got the Arise, so he can bring the Restoring Guntus back with the Stealer of Souls. I'm also just noticing this uh, Restoring Guntus is a foil, and that's uh, it looks so cool. pretty awesome. It's the little perks on uh, Kip that I really enjoy. I love how I love that they've gotten so uh, so creative with like prizing and and some of that stuff. And they're very good about taking input from the community as well. So if somebody finds something that, like, hey, this would be a sweet idea, they're more than willing to try it out. It may not work out great, but they'll try it. I, I and uh, see if it, hey, some value, like the chain tracker down here, and then the the key, count, the key cost. Yeah, the key like, cost is great. Again, the, the the automatic key cost is another way that I don't have to do math, and it helps me tremendously. So thank you. <laughs> to the smart people now when i actually go back to playing in real life keyforge games after uh the pandemic's over i'm screwed because i don't have any of these cool ways to keep track of things <laughs> so so it, oh, it it may be that i'm getting spoiled way too much uh with some of the online play so uh hey we got uh we got a follower there somewhere uh, sweet thank you uh it's not <laughs> popping up because we're on the three minute delay so whoever that was thank you all right, so yeah, so is, yeah, double blanks gaming. Oh, that's uh, trash. Yeah, that's that's <laughs> that's uh, that's Jay. He created this this uh, podcast with me years ago. All right, so so Eric went shadows, uh, dropped some stuff. Uh, that was that was a, that was a cool little play. He had the mag, he had the rat, which stolen two. He had the ghostly hand in hand to pull two amber from it, and then stole one because he only had the one on the back end so he ended up going up to oh, seven yeah, he's gonna get pulled off of check yep it's a really yep. nice play that's solid now he also played the customs office he's gonna have to pay to use the city gate so um so it's, it, it's, yeah that's your yeah pay your opponent Oh, to play use. an artifact. I always get that confused with the use an artifact one. I forget what that what that one is called. Jay, it's always good to see you in the chat, man. Go, go ahead and hop on here and tell us all you, all the things you know about Keyforge. <laughs> Help double links. Okay. All right, so. Yeah, Justice blinded. He is he is at check for his third key. Um, so we'll we'll see uh, we'll see what answers George has in in return. Uh, does play the hysteria. Uh, Dude, that's a good little play. Gets to steal two because of the yeah because of the Magnet. So everything's coming back down. He plays the arise. Gets all his disc guys back. Gets Russian Guntis back. He gets, it, ooh, to lock him out. he gets ooh. to lock him out here. Um, because of the control of the week and then the restoring guns. Well, the, it's it's to choose which house he gets. Yeah, to it's at least. It, but I mean, yeah, he he has to choose untamed. It's not a full lockout, so he he yeah. knows he has untamed, but he probably knows he doesn't have uh, much amber control in the untamed house, and I think that'll be game because he just went up to nine amber. 
And that is it, everybody. That is GG. Uh, congratulations to Eric Justice Blinded for uh, the win. The connection, the uh, the control was uh, was intense. The board control alone was uh, was significant. So uh, George put up a good fight, but really he just couldn't. I feel like he couldn't play the cards he wanted to play. Like when he had uh, when he had the the right hands in place, uh, Eric held him away. It was for the longest time there, like you talked about, he uh, had Sarian in his hand, and he just he couldn't play it. He had no ability to play those cards out of his hand, so he didn't get to cycle his deck as quick. Um, and that definitely put him behind and then allowed Eric to control everything with his entire disc package. <laughs> yep. That's all that I saw, is that this disc package is a very uh, strong one with Charette, yep. uh, Shaffles, and Restrictions. Yep. Um... Yeah. So uh, now, keep in mind uh, the uh, George is not out. Uh, he's this is two deck survival. So this deck is eliminated. But now he'll be in the lower brackets with his second deck. Uh, Eric saying, but now you get to do the Guntus things to people in the lower brackets. So apparently George has a uh, Western Guntus deck. He he'll be bringing for the the rest of the uh, the rest of the tournament. Um, but. Uh, but Justice Blinded will advance, and we will be covering uh, his game that he's going to be playing. Uh, looks like he'll be playing Beehawk from Sanctimonious, um, and so that's the uh, that is the game that we are that we'll be covering. I need to keep an eye on, uh, make sure I don't accidentally cover the wrong games here. Yes, <laughs> yeah. So yeah, so we'll be covering uh, Beehawk against Justice Blinded right there. Uh, looks like we're waiting on a couple games, but um, uh, but yeah, uh, <laughs> double blanks in the chat. He got mad at us for not responding, not knowing we're on a three minute delay because this is live, man, live. Thank you for thank you lots of muffins for <laughs> for defending us against this trash chatter. <laughs> oh man, oh, Jay. I I I told him he could hop on at some point. He hasn't played Keyforge in like a couple months, but you know, I said, "Hey, just hop on. It'll be fun." We, oh, I'm too busy. Uh, too busy getting in the chat, huh? Okay. Hey, <laughs> all right. Well, um, I think that'll do it. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and uh, put in our uh, our our BRB screen back. And uh, and we will we'll be right back, people. <laughs> 